Travasti, located in the heart of India's plains, is a testament to the profound influence of Buddhism. During the reign of the Buddha's ardent follower, King Prasenajit, this city served as a spiritual sanctuary for the Enlightened One for 25 rainy seasons. The city's landmarks reflect its rich history. Many of the Buddha's teachings took place in the Yetavana Garden, which was donated by the wealthy merchant Anathapindika. These sermons, which have been preserved in the scriptures, continue to provide timeless wisdom to spiritual seekers. The ruins of Jetavana silently tell the stories of those times. However, Jetavana is not the city's only spiritual icon. Pubarama, another monastery donated by Visakha, solidified Sravasti's reputation as a Buddhist learning center. The city also hosted the Twin Miracle, an awe-inspiring display of divine power that silenced doubt and continues to inspire artists and pilgrims today. Several sites in Jetavana commemorate the Buddha's presence. Temple number two houses the fragrant Ganda Kuti, his meditation chamber, while temple number three houses the Kosambi Kuti, where the Buddha would pace along a brick plinth. Stupa H is a testament to the teachings shared here, with each brick a silent witness to the knowledge imparted. The Ananda Bodhi tree, planted at the Buddha's request, stands at the park's entrance as a symbol of veneration for followers in his absence. The Sudatta Stupa, built on Anathapindika's house foundations, is a tribute to his unwavering devotion. A mound with a tunnel marks the cremation site of the reformed bandit Angulimala and a swampy area near the Burmese Vihara is said to be where the Buddha's treacherous cousin, Devadatta, was swallowed by the earth for his misdeeds. Sravasti has seen periods of prosperity and decline over the centuries, but its spirit has endured. The pilgrimage of King Ashoka, marked by magnificent pillars and stupas in Jetavana, attests to the city's enduring significance. However, by the 7th century AD, it had declined. Suan Tsang, a Chinese monk, visited Sravasti in 637 AD and documented its deterioration. However, the accounts of F.A. Xian and Suan Tsang reveal the city's changes over time, providing glimpses into its past. As Buddhism in India declined by the 13th century AD, Jetavana had ceased to exist. Alexander Cunningham, an archaeologist, discovered extensive ruins at Saheth Maheth in 1863, which he identified as ancient Sravasti. Since then, archaeologists have laboriously pieced together the remnants of the city, guided by faith. Jetavana's ruins, once a bustling center of learning, now stand as silent sentinels, their weathered stones whispering tales of the Buddha's footsteps. Despite its difficulties, Sravasti remains a haven where the past breathes new life into the present. The city's ancient stones tell stories of wisdom, and the Buddha's legacy continues to illuminate the path to peace and liberation. Indeed, Sravasti is a living testament to the Buddha's teachings' enduring power. Please like, share and comment if you enjoy similar content.